Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I will be discussing what I thought of that awesome, if not minimal, but it was okay that it was minimal, official trailer for the upcoming Star Wars show, The Book of Boba Fett, a spin-off from the hugely, po hugely popular The Mandalorian. Yes, this is one of our many Star Wars shows we've got coming to us in the foreseeable future. This one is going to fill the gap while we wait for The Mandalorian Season 3, which just started production over a month ago, and uh, who knows when it'll drop and whatnot, but at least we have The Book of Boba Fett to keep us occupied and it looks great. I actually love how it showed us very little by giving us a little teaser glimpse into, you know, this show and showing us this corner of the Star Wars universe, specifically Tatooine or Mos Eisley, Jabba's Palace. Uh, no uh, recognizable characters, but many recognizable alien species, like aliens we have seen pop up all over the franchise over the years, whether it's been in films or other shows, very recognizable creatures and alien races. And it looks like Boba is trying to do things differently. I kind of thought he'd just resume ruling with almost an iron fist like Jabba did or rule in fear like he pointed it out. But it sounds like he wants to do things differently and much more civilized. Now, is this because of his influences of being around uh, Din, uh, Din and uh, little Grogu or other characters from The Mandalorian? Or is this just from his simple survival experience on Tatooine after he lost his armor from, taken from the Jawas and while being in the Sarlacc pit? Who the hell knows? But I am curious to see as to why he's taken a much more, a almost softer approach about ruling with uh, respect rather than fear like Jabba did. So I'm excited. It looks great. It definitely looks and feels like Star Wars. It looks and feels just like The Mandalorian, which isn't surprising considering it is a spinoff. And I'm very excited for it. I actually liked how minimal this trailer was. It showed us enough without showing too much, because there is a lot of hot, juicy rumors out there, uh, none of which have been confirmed, of course, about which characters could possibly be reappearing or appearing for the very first time in this show. Other bounty hunters, other well-known, lesser-known Star Wars characters, stuff that'll make us go gasp and, you know, and real be real happy and whatnot. So who knows? You know, rumor gets on the internet, it spreads like wildfire. But what we do know is that both Boba and Fennec are coming back. They look great and badass as ever, and it looks like it's going to be a fun, good show show. So what did you guys think of the official trailer for the book of Boba Fett? Were you expecting more, expecting less? Did you like it or not? Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. The book of Boba Fett drops in about over a month. Next month, December 29th, is the big series premiere exclusively on Disney+. Plus. Not sure how many episodes will be in this first season. Uh, pro most likely eight, kind of like The Mandalorian, I would assume, but uh, time will tell, so we'll see. Have an awesome rest of your night, everybody. Thanks for watching, and of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.